Okay, hello, Ming here. This is a setup for the code that you're going to be putting into your Google Colab to allow you to take your Civitai models and directly download them from that website into your G Drive instead of having to go to your hard drive, then from your hard drive back up, because sometimes you may not have the fastest internet connection. The code you see here, we're gonna break that down a little bit, but everywhere you see a space where I highlighted that, that is a space. So you have to put that space in there for this to work. This is the Google Colab. If you have any questions about what you see here, this is the automatic 1111 Google Colab. I have a link in the description below that describes in very basic terms, so you have to have no experience whatsoever, and you'll be able to get to this and run your Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 uh, repo, basically. If you have any questions about that, go there first, and you will be set for knowing exactly what this is. What I do first is I click on my folder so that I can make sure my G drive is up here for those who need to see that. At this point, also make sure, highlight here, that top link that you have the latest version of the last Ben fast stable diffusion collab and make sure that you're running it from your own google drive so you will copy it to drive just like i showed in the very first video the very first link here when i press that button it mounted my drive it'll ask you for permission to use your drive underneath this you'll see as i move my cursor slowly down here it highlights a line and then it gives you some options i'm going to click plus code I'm going to paste in this section the model that I'm looking for. Now, how do I find that model? On the Civitai website, which is highlighted up here, you basically go to whichever model you want. You go to this particular link. Right now, it's showing that that's a safe tensor, which is a safer version of the models for stable diffusion. And you're going to right click on this and go copy link. And that basically will get you the information to put here. So everything that's in red, you're going to paste that part here. Wherever I have red highlighted here, you're going to paste whatever you copied from Civitai's website into this section. At the end here, it's hyphen hyphen content hyphen disposition. What this does is it allows for the accurate naming. So whatever the name is on Civitai, it will be actually transferred to your Google Drive with that name. So this is important to have in there. If you don't have that in there, it's going to give it some numerical designation that may be very difficult to uh, trace later on. wget is basically gets the link from there. cd up here in front changes your directory so that you're working into the content on your G drive. Here is your folder name. So whatever you've named your folder, you will put that information right here. Back in the Google Colab, you're going to click on this first item. And what it does is connects to Civitai, and it's going to start downloading that particular model for you. It's going to give it the accurate name. You're going to get a percentage. It's going to have a little arrow that comes across. It will go in the folder you designate here and with that model that you have. And we just wait for it to transfer. It occurs much faster this way. So if you've ever had to upload from your hard drive to the G drive, you know what a pain that is. It's now saved. It has saved it in there. So what I did below here is I put in the content G drive, my drive models. How you get that link is really just, it's no different than just clicking on this and clicking copy path. You basically go down to the folder. In my case, it was models. Copy that and paste that in here. Because now that code that I wrote in here is going to be putting that model into this folder, which it did. Now, I don't need this code anymore. When I click on it, I can just hit the trash can here, and that'll delete it. Now, you can, of course, go through, back to Civitai, copy different models, paste it in here, and do this again. So even after this one's done, so let's do one more. So this one is Open Journey. Doesn't matter which one, it's just a demonstration. I'm going to go and copy the link. Go back to my Google Drive. If you want this out of the way, you just click this. As you move up, you'll see that it just gets rid of the code that was in there. I'm going to highlight this address. I'm going to paste. It's going to be the new model now. And I'm going to just 
press that. And now it's going to take Open Journey version one. It's going to put that in there. So you can do this over and over. You could also set up several different lines and just hit one after the other. So, which means I can set up one code, I can run another section of the code, another, 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 and I can just run them all one after the other and just download a bunch of them that way. So that is saved. And again, I don't need this code anymore. So later on, if I try to do run, run all, uh, it's going to try to access and pull another one. If you didn't intend on doing that, just delete this part of the code. So again, you just track that over to here as you're as you click on any particular one of these, that garbage can will show up and you can click that and delete it. You don't have to. Again, it's just, it's there for you. And you can, of course, save this each time. So when you go to save, it'll be there the next time when you open it up. So if you didn't want to delete that. So I'm going to just run the rest of these here. We'll get back to this after this is done. And sometimes downloading these takes a while. Be patient, and especially if you're on the free version. Free version, it can sometimes take up to 10 minutes to get this all running and before you get automatic 111 up. But once you do have it up, you are using a free version of it on Google's servers, which often have really fast processors, graphics cards. So it's a benefit of waiting a little time to use something for free. I think it's worth it. Okay, once you get your Gradio link set up, click on it. So in this area up here is where you would click refresh to make sure that your items are listed accurately. And when you click on that, a drop-down menu will come into play that shows you which models you can choose to run. Let's see, run on wooden bridge. And just do a little sample Galaxy's Time Machine and see how that works. There we go. Woman on bridge. Okay, but that's it. So I hope you had. She needs a little leg work here. Don't skip leg day. Okay. <laughs> um. Anyway, so <laughs> I hope that helps you. Any other questions, please leave me a comment below. And please thumbs up and share this. It definitely helps.